Hey guys, it's Veron from Fika the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today, I was supposed to do another drawing piece, but when I was about to draw, the thing that I use to clamp my phone, it broke. Oh, it, come on, focus, focus, focus on that thing. So that broke, unfortunately, as you can see, there's a, there's a tiny crack, if it focuses, yep, as you can see, there's a tiny crack over there. So I had, it to, I had to cement glue that together and I'm waiting for that to dry and hopefully stay together. And then I thought, hey, let's use the spider tripod thing. The ones that vloggers use, the one with the multiple joints. So this thing looks okay. Unfortunately, it fell and now it's broken and it won't hold onto my phone. I could cement glue it, but there's a lot of cracks. Like even, even this part is cracked. This part is completely broken, so I might just buy a new attachment since it's the same thing as what you use for cameras anyway. So that's unfortunate. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of good timing since I haven't drawn anything, and also because this is finally done. So, I first made this sketchbook in July 2018, it's already July 2019. And if you didn't see the video for this, I actually drew the cover for this. So this hand John, I used black ink and white poster color. And yeah, the actual paper is craft. It's a craft type, but I just copied it all up. So let's get into it. So it's July 2018 to July 2019. Yay! So the first piece, so this is actually something I might recommend to some people. Or for you, if you bring your sketch pad around a lot, or if you draw a lot, or you like leafing through it a lot. I didn't do it for the cover, but as you know, that usually like the, the edges here, like it gets frayed or it dulls down and gets ugly and stuff. I actually put, or I reinforced it with washi tape, or any tape will do actually, at the back. Just so that it, it's a bit strengthened. And it's all pretty, yay. So the first piece that the, I did here on this sketchbook was a sun princess. So it should be somewhere around here. Where do we put it? So it's this piece. And it's actually an, an accompanying piece to this one. Which I did a couple of months before it, I believe. But yep, that's how that turned out. I sketched out. I was pretty... I was, I was being good with this particular, particular piece. I did the thumbnail. I did some studies first on how the character would look like. I did color studies before I did the actual piece. I was really good with this one. I was being a really good artist. <laughs> or that's just, you know, how my school taught me, but you don't need to do that. Uh, this is the Tristan one. I'll just put up the... Um, for the bigger pieces, I'll just put up to the side over here, I guess, the actual scan piece but that should be it with this one i was doing like backgrounds and details and stuff random character post sketching it's rain one of my friends characters but i'm the one who plays with him a lot <laughs> so yep um random character Cal. So Cal has had the character design revamp scheduled since July, August 2018. I still haven't gotten around to it, so let's leave that there for now. So that's just sketching, glad make some real life stuff. That's Floresis Gladiolus, which is this one. That's how it turned out. Ah, let's see there. I did some color studies, some more studies. That's my phone charger, my own characters, random character, and my phone mouse, which is this one. I could have done a bit better with the lighting and stuff, but whatever. I want to draw hoods. Random. It's Cal. Those are both Cal. That actually might be also Cal. I don't know. So those are both Cal. Fox character. Kuhulin! Kuhulin in caster mode. So it's this piece. 
yeah. I actually only did this thumbnail and then I just went straight to the final piece because I want I knew what I wanted. I knew how I wanted him to look. More cal I, I don't know if I drew cal a lot. Um head angling studies. Oh this one. This is the one that I said that's really old. So I had this planned out ever since I got the Prima Confections complexion set because so the color is really nice and summery. I didn't get around to it until this year. So that's how the final piece turned out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it fell. Oh well, I'll get it later. And we have Forget Me Not. Which is this one? Oh, it's, it's actually, it actually really turned out different from. Oh, wait, no, that's Chrysanthemum. Where did I put Forget Me Not? Oh, there it is. Ha ha ha. Spoiler. <laughs> Here's Forget Me Not. It turned out pretty different from the final, or the, the final turned out pretty different from the sketch. I think I changed it on the spot. It may have been that. So we have Saiyan, some random sketching, uh, practicing hands, random thing, character, random stuff, uh, Kyle again, I was practicing, I don't know, I just wanted to draw him sitting for some reason. We have Marigold. Marigold is this one from the Flora series. So it turned out pretty close to this original thumbnail, even though I did sketch out some potential other variations. And that's the back. Because I like leaving the back blank sometimes because um, I sometimes use the back of the page to do more intricate studies and stuff like that especially if i go back to the especially if i go back to the piece that's the new year one i'll just throw up the uh, digital version over here somewhere somewhere here yeah this one i wanted to do um, more realistic stuff and it's just to break out of the same face syndrome so that i don't lose some of my realism skills what little tiny realism skills i have and I happen to be watching the YouTuber Lost Boss. He's an anime YouTuber. I believe he's still active. I don't watch him so much now. Um, but unfortunately, the guy keeps on getting um, deactivated or banned on YouTube. So he's had several videos where he talks about that. And I happen to be watching that particular video where he was talking about it. And I happened, I just thought of drawing his face when he was talking about it. Yeah, that was it. That was just it. Some more background sketching, a potential piece you might see in the future. Here it is. Here's Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum spooked me when I was doing some other... Here it is. This one took such a long time. <laughs> There's so many petals and stuff. But I really like how it turned out. Yeah. Cal. Again, the, the new... Um, just OCs in general. I did this in the new year, I believe. And Romani! Oh, Romani! So, if you play Fate Grand Order, or if you've been watching my videos, you know that I play Fate Grand Order. And this was during the Solomon chapter. Yes. <laughs> I won't spoil it, I won't say anymore. I just felt like I wanted to draw something about him. Yes. I haven't done the final piece for it yet. I'll do it sometime, someday. And the very last piece for the year, which is the poinsettia. So the poinsettia ended up looking like this. I used Copics and uh, colored pencils. Mm -hmm. And after this is the new year. So I didn't do any new year piece. That's just the... Yep. Again, Cal. I guess because I wanted to do Cal's character design, I kept on drawing him so much. But I haven't done a, a, a particular um, digital piece. I'm not done with it yet, so I've been holding off doing any new pieces either. And now I'm stuck. I wanted to draw my characters because I wanted to show that I'm not as. I wanted to see how stuck I am in face, same, same, face, <laughs> same face syndrome, but I gave up after the characters. And sketches, sketches. 
this is the cal yeah this is cal yeah uh somewhat abandoned might come back to it concept i wanted to do conservation stuff i bought up the idea for doing another series this is the valentine's one so this was my first fully copic piece yeah he was he was a bit more edgy looking in the sketch but yeah characters sayon my avatar in god eater 3 some perspective studying arthur arthur so this arthur pentagon obviously this historical person but the one from fate grand order that that version yeah i just did that sketch and then ran with it uh this was the constrained piece thing that i wanted to try out i haven't done any second part to it but here is the first attempt it turned out pretty well i really like how it turned out Some sketches of sketches of stuff. Sketch fox in a box. Eh, where did I put that? I think I dropped it. Oh well. Oh, it's this one. It's right beside me. So it's this one. I just wanted to practice. You know, you know. I explained that in that video. You can just search for it on my channel. Cal again. Some breakdown of potential designs that he wanted to do for him, and my first Boku no Hero fan art. Todoroki Shoto! Shoto! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some more character designing. Some more character designing. I wanted to do a character or a person tying up their hair, then continue with that. Here was the hands practice video that I uploaded. So I did a couple. This is the moon goddess one. And it turned out, I mean, I didn't do a lot of thumbnailing and sketching for it, but it turned out pretty close to the idea that I had. So that's, that's it. Sayan. So this is a character I've had for a long time. I've joined several times. This is Norman outfit. This is slightly modified potential new outfit. Who knows? Red haired goddess. Where? 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 <laughs> it's left at that because I didn't continue the concept. This is the husband of her breakfast one. Also went right up over here. I even sketched out like a layout for his kitchen and stuff. Yeah. Karna! Hero of Charity Karna, the guy who says Shin no Eiyu, uh, Shin no Eiyu uh, Medicals. <laughs> so yeah, I did. This was in. This was due to the hype of Lost Belt Four. So Lost Belt Four just dropped, or it, it dropped a couple of weeks ago. It dropped a cup a week or two ago in JP, and I got hyped for Karna. So there he is. This one was the ah the dancing prince the bad dancing knight guy, yeah. I'll just throw it up over here. It also should be the latest video on my channel after this one, if you're watching it as of uploading. And that's the final page. I'll, I'll leave this blank because I don't want to smudge the back or anything, so I'll leave it like that. Uh, I tested the stuff here, and that's it. Yay! So that's the end of this sketchbook. It will now go into its resting place up there on my shelf. So now I'll be moving on to a new fresh sketchbook. Which is this one. It's a bit it's a bit bigger. No, it's the same size, never mind. <laughs> it's a bit thicker, so this will probably take me another million years to completely finish up. And it's nice, it's it's by limelight. Um you can find this in National Bookstore if you're in the Philippines. 
You can find this on National Bookstore. You can find this on SM Stationery section. This is where I got this one. Uh, I just made sure to read the back and that it said that it's the blank sheets one and not lid and not like um, lined or good. So it's nice and fresh and new. I might after this page. No, it's stuck together though. Let's fold it like this. <laughs> My nails dirty from all the pencil. Oh wow. Well. Yeah. I might draw a cover for this over here. Maybe this up in this page. Yeah. So that's the end of this tour. Yeah. I, I, I might call this the compass sketchbook. I don't know. I might call it that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I I might do a digital piece or if my if my camera hold or my phone holder survive, I might do another traditional piece soon. Hopefully. I should buy that new clamp for my tripod and not use this broken thing. But yeah. Uh, oops. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, like or subscribe if you enjoyed it. I do a lot of, as you noticed, uh, watercolor, very anime-esque stuff. I try, I won't commit, but I usually I'll try to upload every week. And yeah, follow me on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> what the heck? Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.